much. So today I'm presenting my thesis project, uh, the impact of gender on access to surgical care and clinical outcomes, particularly in pediatric surgery cases in Central and South Asia. Um, Uh, recent estimates indicate that a significant portion, around 11% of global burden of diseases attributable to surgically treatable conditions. Shockingly, in low and middle income countries, um, up to 85% of children may have a surgically treatable condition by age 15, and they're scoring the urgent need for equitable access to surgical care. Uh, and despite this uh, pressing need, approximately 5 billion people globally lack access to surgical care. With the extent of this gap among children and the specific requirements for pediatric surgical procedures remaining largely unknown. Uh, numerous factors uh, contribute to the limited access to surgical care in developing countries. Um, those um, includes um, uh, gender disparities, socioeconomic status, and the cost of treatment. Females um, face significant barriers to accessing health care, uh, with um, gender uh, biases evident and at every stage of health care journey. Uh, for example, um, they are, and there are literature that shows these biases, uh, and I want to mention. Um, the first study that comes uh, from Karachi, Pakistan, shows that um, about uh, 199 patients were admitted for elective surgery from February to April 2010, and they wanted to identify the presence and causes of delay in accessing surgical care. And they found that the odds of delay between onset of symptoms and seeking initial health care was twice as likely for women than for men. And statistically significant reasons for the delay were in a lack of knowledge regarding the treatment options and lack of knowledge about the disease complications for females. Um, another study which was a systematic review and it was aimed to study gender differences in the prevalence of uh, blindness, cataract blindness, and cat uh, cataract surgical coverage in India uh, shows that among persons aged uh, 50 years and above, uh, the prevalence of blindness for men was 4.17%. And uh, that for women was around 5.68%. Um, Women had 35% higher odds of being blind and 69% higher odds of being cataract blind. Um, but women had 27% lower odds of getting cataract surgeries. And they concluded that in women, around 35% of prevalence of blindness and 33% of prevalence of cataract blindness attributed uh, to their gender. Uh, in pediatric cases, also gender biases process, affecting the utilization of healthcare services for children. A study in India shows that female gender is an important determinant of non-compliances with pediatric cardiac surgery. Out of 100 boys and girls with congenital heart defects, for every 70 boys who, uh, who have an um, operation, only 22 girls undergo surgery. Uh, in this prospective mm -hmm. studies, parents uh, or guardians of 100 and, uh, 405 um, children aged up to 12 years old uh, were studied, and 44% of girls had undergone surgery at the uh, age of one year, compared to 70% of boys. And when they studied and asked uh, the parents independent predictors for non-compliance with surgery uh, included female genders, uh, female gender, lower socioeconomic class, and higher cost of gen uh, surgery. In an in-depth interview, um, they find out that the future matrimonial prospects of girls uh, coming from a smaller society and lack of social support 
emerged as a major factors responsible for delays in undergoing surgery. Um, another study aimed to find the demographic characteristic of um, caustic substance ingestion and its outcome in children in Afghanistan shows that the p-value of gender and complication uh, stayed very significant. Mm -hmm. uh, it's showing the association that most female patients are getting complicated. And the mean uh, frequency of dilatation of different gender showed a p-value, uh, a significant p-value, which again uh, shows that families were not interested to continue um, the dilatation treatment for their female child. Uh, it's not just that at the stage of uh, society and um, families that females uh, face the gender biases. Um, even um, healthcare professionals themselves may exhibit some gender biases impacting clinical practices. For example, in a study in Israel regarding the attitude and practice of a uh, physician in prevention of coronary arterial disease shows that physician in general considered that male patient to be at higher risk and prescribe aspirin and lipid lowering medications more often for the male patients. And evaluation of medical records for these patients um, shows that with um, patients with baseline low density lipoprotein cholesterol, uh, which is more than 110 milligram per deciliter, 77% of males uh, receive um, lipid lowering medication compared with only 47% of female patients. And the p-value again stays um, significant for this. And the evidence for uh, gender biases in the attitude as well as in actual practice of secondary prevention towards patients with coronary artery disease exists. Uh, while the problem of male patients receiving repeat uh, lowering medication appears appropriate, that the proportion of women receiving such treatments is still remains undesirable. So recognizing uh, the deep-seated um, social factors underlying these biases, uh, my research project aims to investigate the impact of gender on access to care and clinical outcomes in common pediatric surgical proce uh, procedures in Central and South Asia. Um, through a systematic um, review and meta-analysis following the PRESMA guidelines, I'm analyzing the patient um, um, demographics, uh, surgical procedures, outcomes, complications, recovery time, and long-term outcomes. Uh, while also I'm gonna search for factors such as uh, parental decision-making and healthcare providers if available on the data. The targeted region uh, for my study is Central Asia and South Asia, um, including these countries on the slide. Um, and then uh, for eligibility criteria, uh, criteria, I'm including all those articles that mention the social demographics of patients, data from Central and South Asia, all languages, and the articles that mention clearly between zero to 18 years old of age. Gender-specific diseases and um, case reports are going to be excluded from my study. Um, two independent reviewers are screening currently the articles, and uh, we are getting there. It's under process. Uh, the initial uh, result um, shows that um, after uh, searching the database, uh, we have around 8,004 articles. Um, around 6,000 uh, 6, at the moment is being excluded, around 2,000 is included in this study, and uh, 400 we have conflicts. Um, thank you so much. That was my presentation.